The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today, game three of this four-game series between the Omaha Storm Chasers and the Iowa Cubs. Settling in now, DJ Burt, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two and two. Our temperature, 74 degrees as we get things started this afternoon. Breaking ball, strike three called as he drops into beauty there, and that's the first down of the afternoon. Coming to the plate now, Bobby Witt Jr. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. That is bird. Stepping up to the plate, Nick Heath. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Ryan McBroom would be next. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Stepping in, Ian Miller. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Keith is there, and he has it for the first down. Digging in, Zach Short is yet to get into the hit column in the series, 0 for 7. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full, 3 and 2. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. To the left side, but it's well foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard on the ground to second. Reined in. On to first, and there were two down. Stepping into the box, Josh Fegley. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The one-two. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Blewett is there, and the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ryan McBroom. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. The one-two. Fouled away. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. Coming to the plate now, number 15. And the average isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That is good. The second baseman, Jimmy 
Standing in now, Jimmy Govern. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. One there. On to first. Not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. Now with the play, Kelvin Gutierrez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. 1-1. Govern leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Curveball, and he thought it was strike two. Instead, it goes to three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So now to the plate Nick Dini. And a fastball but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. The right fielder. A runner on first with two away. Peter. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Center fielder looking up. Gone! Into the box now, D.J. Bird. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking strike three. Ready now, Hernan Perez. Couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the ever versatile Daniel Descalso. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The plate now, Mark Sagunas. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. The one two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 2-2. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. That is that. The designated hitter, Corbin. At the plate now, Corbin Joseph scooped up. There's one. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a three to six to one double play, and the side is retired. At the plate, Bobby Witt Jr. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Line. That's a base hit in the left field. Now that the center fielder, Nick. Hmm. In now, Nick Heath. And that's taken up and in for ball two. Right back into a good hitter's count now after what was a pretty dreadful second inning. He's got to start throwing a lot more strikes. Quality strikes would help too. A runner at first with no outs here. Hard hit ball to short. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And now this is bobbled and left. And 
and this will not be close and the run will score easily. Tyson Miller is going to come on to pitch here and in just the third inning you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Into the box Ryan McBroom fouled off. A runner at second nobody out. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. He's set. Here's the three and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Birch is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now at the plate, number 15. One for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Full count, three and two. Count remains full. Ground ball left side. Reined in. And there's out number two. So striding in, Jimmy Govern. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Jimmy Govern. The 1-1. One -one. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. Keith is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate. As they pile on, it's now a 6 nothing game. The third baseman, number 16, Kelvin Gutierrez. So now to the plate, Kelvin Gutierrez. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Slider bends into the middle of the strike zone taken for a strike. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. The battle. The catcher. Nick Dini. Standing in now. Nick Dini. It's a swing and a high pop-up. Descalso over to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Standing in, Jared Young. It was an 0-for-4 day for him in yesterday's loss. Fouls this one off. Lifted in the air out to center field. Keith is right there, one down. Stepping in, Charcer Burks, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One out, nobody on. Strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Chopper to short. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now, batting, now to the plate, Ian Miller. He flew out in his last at-bat. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. To third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So stepping in, Court Peterson. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The 1-1 home. Two balls, one strike. I count. 
Line drive base hit. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The bat number one. Designated hitter. DJ Burke. To the plate now. DJ Burke down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Ready on one and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now Riding in once again, Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby he's one for Witt two in this Jr. one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Fly ball out toward left center field. Miller is there now, and he has it. Two gone. So coming to the plate, now Nick Heath. He's working on a one for two game so far. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready for another chance? Zach Short, he's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled away. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Digging in for his second at bat, Josh Fegley. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 2. Seared down the first baseline. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. Now back, second baseman, Arizona. Stepping in now, Hernan Perez. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Into the box now, Daniel Descalzo. He singled his last time up. Daniel Descalzo. The 1-1 one -one is a low changeup that's laid off. Name it a game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Mark Zagunas would be next. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Long run for the right fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Digging in now, Ryan McBroom. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Digging in to try it again, number 15. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. From the stretch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in, Jimmy Govern. One for two in the ball game thus far. Jimmy Govern. 
off speed pitch and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Miller is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Standing in, Kelvin Gutierrez. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park, just like he did back in the second. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mark Sagunas. A base hit in his first trip. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's a, a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Now batter, the designated hitter, Corbin. In now, Corbin Joseph. And it's one, one and two. two Still a ball and two strikes. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. In now, Jared Young comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. One out and a runner on third. Hit the target, but this is low, 2 and 1. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Swung on and missed. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. So striding forward now, Charcer Burks. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Now a curveball misses inside. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. And he fouls this one off. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Ready for another shot now. Nick Dini. Line drive to center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. Now that is the right field for Peterson. At the plate now, Peterson. One and two now. Nobody out, runner on first. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Burks will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So the lineup flips over and digging in DJ Burt. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering the golden sombrero. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Climbs the wall, and he made the catch. What a play to bring it down back from the deepest part of the yard. Now Digging in once again, Bobby Witt Jr. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now 
Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Riding into the box, Ian Miller. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Number 15 is there, and he has it for the out. Now with the play, Zach Short. He went down on strikes last time up. Short. right side and an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away wow digging in and looking for more Josh Fegley a hit in two tries for him so far the 3 1 turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul the 3 2 pitch full count still Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And that one's taken outside for a ball. We walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Second baseman, Aaron A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Justin Steele is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Ready once again, Nick Heath. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan McBroom. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to 2-2 two and two now. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out now number back. two. The left fielder, Travis. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Count. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Now the payoff pitch home. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. Now batting, Jimmy Govern. Jimmy Govern. Hanging curveball taken, though, for a second strike. And it's fouled away. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike. And that's the third out of the inning. Richard Lovelady gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 55. Last half of the seventh here. Now at the plate, Daniel Descalzo. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1-1 home. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Mark Zagunas. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Swung on and missed three and two. 
That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Peterson is there, two down. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Corbin Joseph. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 2 1 pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Ready to begin the eighth. Striding in, Kelvin Gutierrez. So far, two for three in this one. The 3 1. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Into the box now, Nick Dini. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Sliced hard on the ground. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right fielder. Court. So now to the plate, Court Peterson. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. The back. Now back Number to the one. top of the lineup, Number stepping eight. in, DJ Burt. A hat trick already Burt. to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Out of play. Misses ball two. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Stepping into the box, Bobby Witt Jr. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Play. Jared Young 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jared Young is retired leading off the bottom of the eighth. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2 and 1 now. To two and two now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and swing at a pitch that bad? Not good. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Grounded to short. He's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now battle. At the plate, Ian Miller. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here it comes on one and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. 
And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Casey Sattler enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now in the box, Nick Heath. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. A ball and two strikes. He takes something off there as this is swung on and missed, and there's one gone here in the ninth. The first baseman, number nine. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Ryan McBroom. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Line hard toward right center, and call that a nice clean base hit as first of the game. Now back. Standing in now, number 15. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe around. Digging in, Jimmy Govern. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Jimmy Govern. Hard hit at third. And he goes to a knee to try to knock it down, but it's by him down the line. And that's going to plate the runner from second, and it's now a 7-1 to one game. The third base Into the box now, Kelvin, Kelvin Gutierrez. Gutierrez. Off-speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to 3-1. and one. Fouled away. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Set for the bottom of the ninth. Into the box, Zach Short. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1-1 one, one home. Count is two and one. High in the air out to center field. Keith is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Stepping up now, Josh Fegley. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. The three and one pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Number 15 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. So digging in now, Hernan Perez. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now back, the third baseman, Daniel. To the plate now, Daniel Descalzo. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Peterson is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, how about that play to end this thing? That's what you call the icing on the cake, cherry on top of the sundae, exclamation point. I love it. Seven to one the final today. The Storm Chasers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Scott Blewett wins his third of the season. Danny Holson only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. Richard Lovelady takes the rare three-inning save, his first of the year. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score. First, for the victorious Omaha Storm Chasers, seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For Iowa, one run, five hits, two errors. They left five men on base.
time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.